This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Susan Faulkner, Evans, and Bo. We're doing our warm-up canter. Susan and Bo are competing in first and second level dressage. We're going to a show this next weekend. In 2013, they were the came in fourth at the USDF National Finals in the training in the amateur owner training level championships. Out of 24 of the nation's top regional winners. It's a big change going from training level to first and second level. Good, good. That's it. Shorten your outside rein just a little bit and see if you can get him to take up a little bit more of a contact while keeping that nice swinging movement. His poles should be higher. That's right. More push. Oop, new camera. So I'm trying to figure it out. Excuse me. That's it. More push. All right, now nice and easy, we're going to go right into some loops so you can work a little on the counter canter. Remember to activate his back end first and to shorten your outside rein so he keeps that bend right. Again, the bend should be where you can look through the ears. We're just taught by Carl Hester, world champion dressage trainer. More bend! This is from the front of the saddle. We're looking at the bend, so you know. Of course, it goes through the horse's whole body, but we're just isolating what's happening in front of the saddle and working on the rest, but you'll hear me say position between the ears a lot right now. Good, good, good. That's it. Into a leg yield feeling at the canter. Then we're going to do the half pass into the canter pirouette. You know, just a big lazy one. That's it, supple him more. And this is going to isolate how you're using your inside leg to control him more. And the leg yield feeling is used to show a rider how to use their inside leg to keep the horse more active. We're not asking for a leg yield at the canter. Good, good. Get him active on the outside hind. Keep your lower leg forward. You're starting to bring it back instead of using your calf. You're using your spur and your heel. Good, good boy, Bo. Nice, relaxed canters. And what we're doing is we're playing with what length of rein to use with him. If the rein is too short, he goes behind the vertical and starts taking short, choppy steps behind. So we're playing with going with maybe a little longer rein so we can keep his hocks moving in circles instead of like an egg laying on its side. Good, roll in, roll in, roll in. That's it. Okay, now shoulder in into half pass. I haven't even gone this way. I just started this way. Okay, we just started this way. This we're going to go back to the leg yield. I knew that. Get his back end more active with that leg yieldy feeling. That's right, keep the back end active with the leg yield feeling. Good, good, that's better, that's better. He's picking you up different. Do you feel how he's getting a little leap now? So everything should be now you're thinking, does he have a leap to the canter? Keep feeling the leap. If he's not leaping, it's his back end. Keep the leap, keep the leap, keep the leap, keep the leap, keep the leap. Good, good. Keep the leap, keep the leap. Good, Susan. And that's all the shorter you need the rain, just enough to keep that leap. Good. Keep the leap, keep the leap. Bring your shoulder in more. Remember the bend. So by looking through the horse's ears, the riders bring the horse's shoulder over more for the bend. Good! 